What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back once more to Evolve. Today we've got another tournament round on our hands, again from the Hunter's perspectives. Lazarus, Hank, Abe, and Hyde subbing in for the Erratic Parnell against this feisty Kraken on the map rendering plant. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series, it means the world to me and is helping us evolve, evolve into the stage 3 monster that it deserves to be. So keep smashing that like button, keep leaving your comments, I adore you all. I also talk talked about scheduling last video and then got so wrapped up in the match that I forgot to mention what the plan was. So I think for now we're going to go to a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday schedule for Evolve videos. That way you know when they're coming, you can make sure that you don't miss an episode and I can deliver you guys the best content on those four days. It might expand in the future, it might change a little bit, but right now we're going to try Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. We're also going to try to take down this crack and we lost the first round so we learned a few things there. I won as the monster in the mid round and this is the finale. This is the third culminating match to decide who moves on and I felt great going in. After my monster win, I was so pumped up, I knew we were going to get this victory, especially with the smart substitution of Hyde. This Kraken is mobile, he's pretty feisty, and I thought it was a good idea um, to put in either Markov or Hyde, and, and Casey went with Hyde. So we're going to roll with Casey as Hyde, Gabe as uh, Hank, my brother Jake as Abe, and myself as Lazarus, trying to track the monster through this murky map. I think he picked this one um, because it has a lot of undulation, a lot of different leveling of the, the terrain where he can rise and lower quite quickly. Um, also an interesting choke point where he could probably get to one side of the map, confuse us a little bit, and then sprint across completely to the other side. Now our idea was to split up a little bit more here um, and try to catch him early. We caught it him early in the first round but weren't able to capitalize so our focus here was on dealing max damage within the dome and trying to utilize our skills better to our advantage. It was super cool to see all of you guys' feedback and comments and thoughts in the comments on the last video, especially from the, the knowledgeable players and really trying to improve my, my poor play as I get stuck on this bush here. Um, it's a tricky game, like at this high level I think we were all sort of surprised um, by not only how much experience we needed against top monsters, but also how much experience we needed with each other to really learn the intricacies of how we all play and how best to cooperate um, in order to take the monster down. The asymmetric nature of this game requires just almost perfect play from everyone. It's not like one player can really turn the tides, unless they get super lucky, but you can't count on that. We've spotted the monster based on some bird alerts, and now we're trying to really close in on him, maybe get a two and two pinch, um, and at least get our eyes on him, hopefully getting a dome. I'm trying to get some high ground here to see if I can spot him, and I'm not seeing him as of yet. This is a really cool map. I like it because it brings a lot more light uh, into the the world of Sheer, it's not just totally dark, and as I've mentioned before, I hope with some of their new maps, they decide to get a little crazier, um, because Rendering Plant, Aviary, a lot of those are the ones that, to me, feel more memorable and more awesome, um, just because they incorporate other elements besides dark forests. I know the dark maps are, are successful in their own right, because it helps hide the monster and keep things spookier, um, but I do like when we get a little bit of a different look into the planet Sheer. Now, we're not getting any look on Kraken, I and mean, I'm by myself right now, which is probably a dangerous idea, but I felt a little bit of desperation. Hank pops in, and our idea was to use more shielding, more team cloaking, and then have Hyde really just pound the damage as soon as we find the Kraken. I promise to stay back more, even if it kills me to not be involved in every action, and this is why I kind of want to switch to Kyra, um, so that I am able to stay back and have more of an impact from afar. Lazarus you know, it's tricky because he can only heal at close range, which puts him at risk. His biggest, you know, power is that revive, but if the monster is smart and camps the bodies, or eats the bodies, then his best ability is basically rendered null and void. I think I'm going to start practicing with Kyra um, for my medic play, and practicing with some other characters as well. I am going to be playing, and I'll tell more information on this uh, at a later time, but I'm going to be playing another tournament that you guys will have a chance to watch. So that will be super, super awesome. Um, right now, I am doing a little swim through the, the dangerous areas. We've got more bird alerts, and we're closing in. I wish I was able to capture my team commentary, because this was a pretty good one. We were so focused in, and so just... Those initial nerves had worn off, and so we were just trying our best to play. I think you noticed that we played pretty scared um, and tentative in that first round, and part of that is just like none of us are you know, game pros or tournament players, so it, it brought on a lot of, you know, unexpected tension and pressure and, and fun, um, but 
We took things seriously here. And we've got a spot on Kraken here, and we need the dome. Where is the dome? Jake, please bring the dome. Okay, Arena's down. I don't even know if he knows that we're there because he's eating. And again, this is an early chance with low armor to deal massive damage. I'm trying to get some pins on him uh, with the sniper rifle. I want to make sure he can't escape through that back corner or hide back there. So it's all just... All systems go on this guy. We torn through his armor. Um, the orbital did a little bit of damage, and now we really need to get him. I've cloaked to make sure that I can get to a high point and not be seen. My main just priority in this match was to guarantee that I stayed alive and did not die. Um, that is not Kraken, but it's a wildlife um, that we had to deal with. He now is close to me. He's eating up to recover armor. He sees me, but that's fine. I'll burst away. I've got my team to protect me. That's another tactic that I've picked up from a lot of people is using your teammates to basically form a bodyguard or a distraction between the medic and the monster, or anyone for that matter. If the monster is all on someone, you can almost throw a hunter at him to cause a distraction. I was learning like a, a crazy technique with Hank's orbital on yourself to launch you out of the way. And, you know, if anything, I think our biggest fault in this match um, was one, not being able to deal maximum damage as Kraken gets away, but also um, we did not coordinate our team abilities well enough. And that, that went for everybody. We just were not able to use the cloak you know, properly. I didn't feel like we were able to use distractions properly. Didn't feel like we were able to use stasis grenades properly. Now, Abe did a good job here getting a tracking dart. We tried to make sure that Jake would always get a tracking dart in the monster whenever we saw him um, so that we did have an eye on him. But Kraken is moving super quickly here, and I'm trying to do my best to get everybody as close to max strength as we can as we prepare for our next engagement. We are on his trail, um, but he is moving quickly and working his way towards stage three. He lost a little bit of health, but again, not enough. There's got to be a better way, and perhaps it's the areas that we domed. I do feel like we got a little bit unlucky um, based on our doming areas in both aviary and here on rendering plant weren't the most, you know, they didn't favor us really in any way. They kind of favored the monster, an ability to go up and behind some rocks, down very quickly. It wasn't just like a big open space where we could constantly see him or up on one ridge or something of that sort. So that wasn't in our favor, but we still needed to do a much better job of punching him hard within the dome. Like, again, I've been talking to a lot of people about what could be improved and what could be better, and it seems like one of the main focuses is having the assault do all that he can to pour damage, 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 and making sure that support is shielding the assault if necessary. Medic is staying out of the way, opening up multiplier points, and the trapper is constantly stasising so that we're able to get him locked up and deal that damage and, and allow assault to really pound home um, his, his weaponry. Now, Kraken has again escaped from our view, and so we're currently in sniff and seek mode. Um, I want to make sure he's not creeping and crawling back behind the bog over there, the poisonous swamp, and he's not, so we're going to head the other direction. Again, I'm by myself, but I'm trying to stay up on the rocks, keep high up, avoid the wildlife, and I feel okay. If Kraken somehow manages to get me alone, I trust my team can come in and support me. Perhaps that's not the best idea, but I wanted to make sure we found this guy as quickly as we could, and I was willing to take some risks. Now, he still is not at stage 3 yet, and... I don't know, like a, a level 3 monster requires such perfect coordination. And, and I feel like we set ourselves up well. Like we had a good early dome, and I'm not quite sure why we didn't deal more damage. Now, granted, when I played monster, they domed me, and I they didn't deal much damage to me. I was able to evade. And so, what do you guys think? Do you think that a lot of your success within the dome matters on where the dome is dropped? Is the terrain and the environment very indicative of how successful your doming will be? Or is it more on the hunters to play better because it does seem like you know there's just some times where it, it just doesn't work to deal damage and other times the monster seems completely exposed so i'm curious to know in the comments your thoughts this episode on on domes and just how to better play within domes and sort of what affects domes and, and how maybe the situation can dictate what happens more than the monster or the hunters who now is stage three oh god now i'm nervous like Lazarus said, this is not looking so hot, but we got to keep our spirits high, we got to keep our focus, and we got to keep our positivity, because this is all we got. Is he going to go to the relay? Probably. Um, I don't think it's good to go straight to the relay, but he is making his move towards it, and we might as well meet him outside. Now, you're about to witness our best play 
of this entire match, of the first one, of anything. We're about to get our act together and go to work. And I, I hope to God that it works out. Let's let's wait and see. I, this, these spiky plants love me. I must smell good or something. Lazarus must be wearing that, you know, beard uh, cologne or beard foam that's really just... It's, it's just making him lovely. These spiky plants just want to get all up in my pores. Um, we got a tracking dart on Kraken, and now he's moving to the opposite side of the map, throwing those Banshee Mines everywhere. We've got the dome, um, and I think we just missed him, honestly, which... You know, as critical as uh, little moments could be, that might have been the one um, to really screw things up. But don't worry. We've got the track on him, and our dome is recharging quickly. So again, you're about to see um, a really good chance. He is trying to take it easy. I'm not going to shoot him. I just want to mark him. I don't want him to see me. Our dome isn't ready. I'm going to cloak up, um, and I want to make sure that I get the heck out of here. Now, trying to do some chip damage, that was a really bad orbital. We probably should have saved it, and that's one thing we learned as well, um, is to just, man, you gotta save those orbitals for the prime moment. When you've got them in the dome, the stasis grenade, all of that. Otherwise, um, you know, it's just, it takes a long time to recharge, and like, all of us were playing, except for me, we're kind of new playing the characters we were playing. Um, Casey was pretty familiar with Parnell, um, but he was playing Hyde here. Gabe normally plays Trapper, and Jake is pretty new at the game, but they all stepped in and did a good job. We just need to do a great job, and, and we'll get there. With with time and practice, I want to make sure that, that whatever team or teams that I go with, we really know our stuff and we're able to really compete with the best of the best. Now, all hope is not lost. We're pretty much fully healed up, and the monster is within sight. Our dome is back in business, and we can get this thing. I'm going to hang back so that the Kraken doesn't have a spot on me, and I'm going to make sure he doesn't bear it to the left here because I thought he might um, turn and, and take... A uh, completely opposite course. Um, I quickly realized that I was going to a point that he was unable to access and he was actually going the different direction. Map navigation, probably not my strongest suit, but that's probably why he also picked Rendering Plant. It's a map that uh, allows you to, to maneuver around and kind of cause some chaos and confusion. Um, Kraken is coming back though. He's ready and we are ready as well. So here comes our moment. Will we be able to knock this guy down? Will the big Cthulhu Moose sit and his horns reside on our wall or will we all be chop suey monster dinner we're already going down the dome has been dropped this is dangerous we got a guy down and the dome is dropped he's feasting away on i believe that is uh support so support is down which is really nasty because that's the guy who we need to be shielding and basically being my second in command helping the team stay alive kraken gets a great long distance lightning strike on me uh, but we are dealing de decent damage this is the part of the match where hyde really kicked it in to high gear um, i'm trying to open up points on him for hyde's damage he's already got the fire on him so we're getting a little bit of that uh, damage over time and now with support down um i got a health burst on our guys i'm cloaked and i'm gonna bring him back you bring him back he's got full health or nearly full health and things are looking pretty good we're in a position where we're spread out we've got the monster in a domed area that is pretty open and as long as we can keep him in, in good good shape we might be able to deal damage and then hopefully get a dome again now he's seen me here and this is where everything begins to really get silly um, he's all over me but it's a great opportunity for my team to deal a lot of damage and i'm not sure why we weren't dealing more i don't know if it's because we were too far away or what but i've cloaked here and this is the critical part of the match that I hate so much. I'm avoiding him, right? He's hit me. Um, and I have nowhere to go. I'm in this locked-in area, so I decide to hide, which is probably the stupidest thing I could do. But I knew if I kept running, I'm in an alleyway, a hallway, and there's nowhere really to go. What I probably should have done is about face and ran through his legs. But because he fired a vortex, I was afraid the next thing would be Banshee Mines. And if I reversed course 180 and ran directly at Kraken, I was concerned that I would hit the Banshee Mine and die. Alas, I probably should have chanced it because sitting in this corner was a bad idea. At this point, I am yelling at my team, bail, bail, bail. We've done a third of his bar damage to him, and I need them to get out of there. They all tried to come save me, and I was like, guys, I appreciate it. I love you, but please leave me to die. Let me go spread out make sure the three of you keep cracking in sight let him go after the relay and just poke at him till i get back well that did not really go down both abe and parnell i'm sorry hide came after me and tried to get me in a close quarters area like that with nowhere to really escape, a very thin hallway. Kraken was able to use all of his attacks to punish them. And now we've got support on the run with half a health bar and a minute and a half to wait for us to return. Kraken is regaining armor 
very, very briskly and going to go after the relay. This is a dire situation and a terrible one to put any hunter in. One person, if he runs into any wildlife that pins him, if he gets hit even one, maybe two times by lightning strike, the match is over and it's all in his hands, which, you know, we didn't do our job, so no blame uh, on Hank here. I just wish that I was able to avoid cracking with my cloak and that everybody else bailed, because I think if we bailed, we had a chance. We had a third of his bar done, and if we could have extended the match and forced him to either go back and gain armor, and see, there's the lightning strike right away, and he's got a sliver of health, and it's just not looking good. But if we could have forced him to either go back and get armor, or, you know, deal with us in multiple engagements, we could have pushed that timer towards its limit and possibly gotten a timeout victory, um, or even taken the monster down. I didn't really care that I had a strike penalty. Um, if Kraken gets on me, he's going to get on me, so whether I, I die or not, you know, or whether I get hit or not really isn't the issue. Now, Hank does a great job of dodging the lightning strike, but the vortex gets him, the monster wins, and our team goes down. I was depressed and sad for hours. I know it's just a tournament, but boy, uh, I had so much, like, intensity and emotion invested. All of a sudden, I was just sad for a long time. But that is my tournament match for you. Hope you guys enjoyed them, and hope you guys can give me some cool tips and that we learn together how to be better Evolve players. Besides having fun, I hope these videos are really supporting you guys in your quest for monster and hunter domination, and that together we can learn to be the best Lazarus, the best Kyra, the best Kraken, the best Hank, the best Parnell, the best Abe that we all can be. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy and want to see more. Until next time, guys and girls, which will be Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Drink some hot chocolate. Thanks again. And we will see you all later.